and talk about recording melody MIDI clips. So instead of programming this in, so actually let's just review here, I have on this track right here, which is now armed, I have a one of the um, retro synthesizers from Pure Magnetic that Ableton just distributed. So I'm going to go ahead and record a clip into this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same procedure that I did for the, um, for the audio clip where I armed it. Um, and you can tell it's armed because there's sound coming in because right now I'm pressing the buttons and nothing is coming out. So if there's sound coming out, you're good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press play here. And you'll notice that it starts recording immediately. And then I'm going to record um, some MIDI in, and you'll see that uh, it's gonna fill up the clip. And then, um, but I'm gonna record it, I'm not gonna stop at all. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. So the good thing about recording MIDI is I can actually fix something after the fact. I don't have to since I can move things around like we did with the drum clip, I don't actually have to record it totally perfectly like I would have to do um, with an audio clip because those are a little bit more difficult to alter, although with warping you can definitely do it. So I'm going to press play and then we're gonna, I'm going to record something in and then um, we'll edit it a little bit later, okay? Stop this. I'd like to sincerely uh, apologize to everyone for that. Um, but okay, so as you can see, if I double click this or um, if I select this uh, Casio Funk clip, and let's actually just rename that because um, that sounds weird. Yeah, let's just rename that Synth1. Um, if I double click that, you can see down here, and actually I forgot to point this out here, just like the mag the magnifying glass works this top strip, it actually works on the left as well. So if I do this and I scroll right, it becomes bigger, scroll left, it becomes a little bit smaller. So what I can actually do is let's just loop, and so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna drag the start button, or the start marker actually, up to where I actually start playing. Because you can see that I have all this space right here when I wasn't doing anything when I was getting ready, okay? So I'll press play and listen to how that sounds. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna unrecord that, or disarm that, unrecord. Oh, really <laughs> professional sounding here. Okay, let's listen to how that sounds. All right, so this is a perfect example here because this is okay, right? The basic parts are there, but I have all these problems. I have a sour note at the end. Um, I'm gonna do that in a second. And I have, uh, it's not as rhythmic as I'd like it to be, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna shorten the length. So it just loops this part right here. So let's make it eight bars, bam, okay? I'm gonna make sure the loop starts right at the beginning here by dragging these brackets. And so now let's listen to it again. All right, so this note is the most egregious of them. So all I have to do is select this and delete it. I don't really have to do anything. Also, what I can do if I Command Z and undo, I can 
change this to a note which is a little bit less lame. For example, this one down here, just by dragging it down. So I'll press enter. Actually, I could even. So I could do either one. I'm gonna delete it because I don't really like it that much. Okay? And as for the timing, I can actually, um, I can uh, either control click or right click just in this clip, wherever in the clip, and then where it says quantize. And quantize will bring the. You'll notice I'm gonna undo it so you can see. It, it slightly moves, what quantize will do, it'll, it basically cleans it up and it brings the notes um, to whatever grid point they were closest to. I don't like to do that that much, to be honest, simply because it takes away a little bit of the humanity of the whole thing. So if it's something is too quantized, it's going to sound too um, too robotic. So I don't really mind that it's not starting right on the one, but I might want it to be a little bit closer to the one. So what I can do and see if I if I select this now, hold it down and drag it, it's going to go directly there. But let's say I don't want it to go all the way to the one. I want it just to be a little bit off. Once again, I'm going to Command-4, turn off the grid control, and just drag it. And now I can just drag it wherever I'd like. So I don't, I don't have to worry about the grids because I turned off the snapping. Okay. Eh, turn that back on. This guy is a little bit ahead of the beat. Behind the beat is okay. Ahead of the beat, we're not going to stand for. Also, this guy here. I'm going to make this also right on the beat. This right here, I have this little grace note, but it's exactly, remember with the grace note, you want it to be um, just like the skip kick. I want it to be a little bit quieter than the next note. So I'm going to just take this, um, this velocity bar deal here. I'm just going to drag it down and it's going to make it quieter. So let's just do it again. a little bit too too quiet. Drag it up a little bit. So this guy also needs to be on the beat. Or maybe try it a little bit here. That's not going to work. So it's always going to take a little bit of trial and error, especially if um, you're doing, because I'm, I'm actually not a very good keyboardist. I'm, I'm good at making the melody, but I'm just not very good at executing it very well. So I end up doing a lot of this myself. So I get the basic idea down and then I mess it a little bit. So let's try this again. So what I noticed, what I uh, addressed also um, before about the length of the note is going to become a lot more important um, that when um, when you're dealing with melody because drum beats it's like you know it's not going to be as crucial because it's such a small amount of time. But listen to this and then this, right? It really makes a huge difference. So that's why. Um, this little guy, this little bracket when you're at the end of the thing is going to be a really important because this it's also going to be different. So you're going to want to really be careful about that kind of stuff, okay?